Well, at approximately 1.42 this morning, we had several reports from several citizens in the area that we had a working structure fire right here on Denton Way. Uh, our units were dispatched at 142 and the first arriving companies got here within three, or four, three to four minutes. The first arriving unit was Engine 24, which thankfully is only a few blocks away. When they arrived on scene, what they reported is that they had a single story house with a working fire and that they were going to attack the fire and ensure that our citizens got out. So they proceeded to attack the fire and gather information from citizens in the area to see if there was anybody still inside the house. Fortunately, all the occupants, we had a family of four that managed to escape the fire and they were already outside of the house. What we do know is that while the first in engine com company officer, the captain from Station 24, was gathering his information and while his firefighters were deploying lines, there was a group of citizens outside of the fire um, in the general area that got into an altercation and a fight did break out. So at that point in time, the captain not only had to worry about his crews and the possible damage from the fire and, and the, the potential for life risk there, he also had to address a fight between some groups of citizens out in the street. That time the officer called for uh, San Jose PD, he asked for them code three. He also struck a second alarm in case there was any injuries developing from that altercation. And then um, he also requested two AMR ambulances to stand by. At this time, we don't know um, any, if, there was, if they were neighbors or what kind of affiliations or if anybody knew anybody. So we don't know any of that information. All we know is that there was a fight outside of the fire, um, but it did impair our operations. So we did ask for PD to come and take care of that aspect of it. Well, right now you can see the damage is, is kind of extensive. It involves some automobiles and it involves the house. The cause of the fire is still in an investigation. We do have some investigators coming out to take a look at it. Um, thankfully, there's no injuries. And like I said, the family did get out of the house. Um, so we're thankful for that. Uh, the fire department responded on a structure fire and once they arrived on scene there was a physical altercation and they had called for uh, police assistance. So we responded uh, not particularly for the fire but because of the actual fight that was involved. So once uh, we got out here and we were able to separate the parties, uh, we were uh, able to allow the fire department to continue on with their firefighting efforts. What we have so far at this point is, is that the residents and some neighbors got into a physical altercation. Uh, what we haven't determined is what the cause of the fight was. Uh, we're, not, we're unsure if the fight was because the neighbors were accusing somebody or if there's a misunderstanding. We haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, we know that there have been some ongoing uh, disputes between the two neighbors. Uh, for what reason, we haven't determined. We don't know if uh, the reason for the fight was because of the prior uh, problems or the fire itself. Now, what we're waiting on is the fire investigator to come out, give us what their determination is. Some more pieces of the puzzle will help get a little more clarification out here. So the two stories are different, so we just don't know exactly what had transpired. We're trying to find independent witnesses that'll help give us some more information, but the scene is still a little bit chaotic, so we're just having trouble tracking down everybody that might be a good witness for us.